excellencies, are you ready for the next session? Hallelujah, hallelujah. It doesn't sound like it. Because if you're really ready for the next session, I will hear the yes a bit louder. I will hear you make some noise and be excited for what God is about to do. Hallelujah. So if you are ready, hallelujah. and you know that you know that you know that you know hallelujah. that you're ready for the next session, make some noise. Hallelujah. Just continue. I know it's not 7 o'clock. I know usually you see him from 7 to 8, but this time it's past. It's few minutes to 12. Are you ready, ladies and gentlemen? He needs no introduction, ladies and gentlemen. He is pastor, teacher, word of God, of the word of God, charismatic author, president of the fast growing streams of joy international. What God cannot do does not exist. Oh! <laughs> ladies and gentlemen, put your hands together for Pastor Jerry Uchechuku Eze. Do not think it has to stop now. Every time women gather, there's always a shift. It's spiritual. It's actually extremely very territorial. And it has a lot to do with governance as well. It has a lot to um, stimulating change and causing everything to align. So it is beyond the conference. Every time women are gathered and they raise their voices. Now the scriptures are replete with examples, you know, and all that. So whenever women gather, some things, fundamental things happen. And whether it is in the governance, whether it's in the lives of the children, or whether and that's why most of the time if you go through the scripture whenever the devil wants to strike a community first of all he strikes the women so once the women are struck then they are powerless now now little wonder the, the, the story in the scripture about the Shunammite woman and how her son had a headache and then the father said take her to the mom now how would you how would you do that but then again these are this is the realization of what it actually is that the women the men glory but the women are actually the ones that fix things. I knew we were shouting to Jesus. Can you make it louder? Celebrate the God of our flesh. In him there is no variableness, neither shadow of turning. Celebrate the Lord. 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 He has no called the sons of Jacob to seek him in vain. Celebrate the Lord! Celebrate the Lord! Celebrate Him! Celebrate Him! Somebody give the Lord a loud shout! Hallelujah! 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 Somebody help me thunder fire! People of God, you must realize whenever there is a win, there is a battle that is around the corner that will actually announce your winning. It is not in any way to say you won't win. But let a believer shout fire like you really meant it. Please help me celebrate one of the greatest gifts. God has given to the world and I'm not saying it because I just want to say it but I say it because it is the truth and it is what it is many years ago I will look at her and watch her and then I would just be amazed at what a priceless gift that she was and then I'll sit back in London many times we'll always want to look for when her session will come up on television and I watched, I admired, I celebrated today. Please help me celebrate. A matriarch of the faith. A mother that loves his children very dearly. A woman of grace and fire. A great, a great, a great spiritual covering over our lives. Help me celebrate. Mother like no other. Help me celebrate. Reverend Mommy Funke. I did you more. Help me celebrate. Mama, we love you.
you. Thank you. Thank you for everything that you are. Thank you for being strong. Thank you so much. We are here because you took those steps. You made it easy for some of us to be here. Would you help me celebrate her one more time? Today is the first time I am meeting daddy. Today is the first time I'm meeting daddy, this great man that allowed his shoulders for mommy to become every single thing that she is today. Help me celebrate daddy. Help me celebrate this great man of God. Help me celebrate him. Help me celebrate him. God bless you, daddy. God bless you. And everyone, every man of God, every woman of God, everyone anointed by God who is in this room, please help me celebrate them one more time. Help me celebrate them one more time. Help me celebrate them. Hallelujah. People of God, before you take your seat, please would you help me open the scriptures very quickly. Help open your Bibles very quickly to the book of Judges. We'll read the book of Judges, chapter 9. And we'll begin to read from verse 50. Judges, chapter 9. And we'll begin to read from verse 50. And we'll continue to read until the end. Praise God. People of God, the Bible says, Then went Abimelech, to the pears and encamped against the pears and took it. But there was a strong tower within the city, and thither fled all the men and the women, and all day of the city, and shot it to them and got them up to the top of the tower. And Abimelech came unto the tower and fought against it and went hard unto the door of the tower to burn it with fire. And a certain woman, please help me look at your neighbor and tell your neighbor, say, and a certain woman. Uh, oh, that was the wrong neighbor. Leave that one, get in the face of another. Help them, tell them, and a certain woman. Uh, uh, somebody say a woman without a name. Uh, say a woman without a title. Uh, say a woman without a pedigree. Uh, let me hear you thunder. A certain woman. Uh, a certain woman. Uh, if you understand it, can you thunder it louder? Amen. Uh, the Bible says, and a certain woman cast a piece of a millstone upon Abimelech's head and all to break his call. Then he called hastily unto the young man his armor bearer and said unto him, draw thy sword and slay me that men say not of me. A woman slew him and his young man thrust him through and he died. And when the men of Israel saw that Abimelech was dead, they departed every man unto his place. Thus God rendered the wickedness of Abimelech, which he did unto his father, in slaying his 70 brethren. And all the evil of the men of Shechem did God render upon their heads. And upon them came the curse of Jotham, the son of Jerubal. Father, we ask, O oh God, in the next few minutes that you make your word and your will known unto us. Father, we ask, O oh God, Liba Tokashaya. We understand the victory that we already have in you and not the victory we are going to have. And Lord, today we ask, O oh God, in this meeting, right here and now, let there be a manifestation of that victory. Let there be a manifestation of that victory. Let there be a manifestation of that victory. Let a lover of the Lord thunder a louder. Amen. Let your amen rise louder. Let your amen rise louder. Help me take your seats in the presence of the Lord. I'm all kind of shot. I, I want every woman here to hear very well uh, that we present to us uh, a setting man uh, according to the book of Judges, uh, chapter 9, uh, known as Abimelech. Abimelech, uh, let me make everyone understand uh, that whenever God uh, calls 
causes you to win half of the time. It is not for you to celebrate. Every time God causes you to win, most of the time, he wants you to build capacity for a future battle. Whenever God causes you to win half of the time, God wants to remind you, I am leaving a legacy for the faith of others to rise. I am leaving a legacy for the faith of others to rise. Not necessarily for you to celebrate your win. Most of the time, when God causes you to win, is an affirmation and a validation of his glory and majesty. Always put that at the corner of your mind so that you don't begin to feel that now God has caused me to win. It simply means that God just wants me to sit back and celebrate my victory and celebrate my win. As somebody help me lift up your right hand wherever you are and turn and say, I am winning again. I need you to scream it louder and say, I am winning again. I am winning again. I am winning again. If you understand the thunder, a louder amen. Let me do an aside before I continue about Abimelech. Just in case you do not know, like we read, if you begin from verse 1, you will discover that this was a young man in his quest to be king. He wanted to be king. He devised a strategy and went to the men of his mother's house, spoke to them, strategized. That led to the 70, to the death of his 70 siblings. 70 siblings were wiped off by this young man just because he wanted to be king. People of God, the shocking thing about Abimelech was that Abimelech is the son of Gideon. If you remember Gideon the judge, if you remember the Gideon, the one that had encounter with God, if you remember Gideon, the one that threw away idol worship, if you remember Gideon, the one that exalted the horns of Jesus, the horns of Jehovah, if you remember Gideon, he was the one that God said, go in this thy might. Now, this is not in line with what I have to say. But I believe that before we continue, we are going to raise a prayer first. People of God, how could his father have led such a wonderful life? And then his son, Hakuta, becomes a murderer. Not a murderer of others. A murderer of his own 70 siblings. Can I make a proclamation? You will not follow the Lord and your children will follow devil. Hear me as I hear the Lord. Every legacy you are laying off for your children. As your amen will thunder, no hand of the wicked will destroy it. No hand of the wicked will destroy it. No hand of the wicked will destroy it. Let your amen thunder louder. Let your amen rise. Let your amen rise. I need you to rise on your feet. Lift up your right hand. And thunder with me. Say right now. Whatsoever that will arise to destroy what the Lord is building in the lives of my children. Say whatsoever that will arise to destroy what I am building in the lives of my children. Say right now, fire, 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 fire. Open your mouth. I'm a quarter. I'm a shataka. La corrida. As a mecatel. Rabababaya. A quarterly. As a mecoto. A calabaya. As a naka. A merocoto. A shataka. La balaka. Let your aim at on the louder. Let your amen rise. Let your amen rise. Let your amen rise. At the sound of your amen, no power of hell will pull down what you are building. No power of hell will touch your children. No power of hell will lead them astray. No power of hell will distract them. No power of hell will reduce their destiny. Let your amen turn the louder. Take your seat for one second. 
And the Bible speaks about this particular Abimelech. The most exciting part of it all is that this guy, you dare not challenge Abimelech. You dare not say anything against him. Because if you dare, anyone who dares Abimelech, in fact, if you read the previous verses, there was a time the Bible said, and God sent an evil spirit in order to cause everything to go wrong around, wrong around Abimelech. And the Bible said, says in some form of wicked strategy, Abimelech was Abimelech heard that a people had revolted against him, that a people did not want his leadership, and Abimelech came against them. The Bible says, both men and women, they ran into the tower. Hear me, people of God. I want to introduce you to a chapter of victory and winning that is going to happen in your life. Have you ever wondered many times, Lord, why didn't it work out? Lord, why why didn't I win? Lord, why did I come close some close? I came so close, but I didn't carry my evidence. Lord, what went wrong? I am interested in this particular woman that smashed this strong man. I am interested in this particular woman that had no name, but her exploit was documented in the scripture. I am interested in this particular woman, even though there was no genuine no no prakatusa, no pedigree attached to her name, but she accomplished what others could not accomplish. Lift up your right hand and thunder, say, I am that woman. I don't think that you are really that woman because you're going to be more prophetic. Lift up your right hand and thunder, say, I am that woman. Somebody thunder it again, say, I am that woman. People of God, listen carefully. One major thing that you discover about this woman that we find in the scripture is that the Bible says the woman went up to the strong tower. Of course, everybody ran into the strong tower. So this woman ran into the strong tower. And from where she was, she was able to see Abimelech on the ground. The woman went up while Abimelech was on the ground. Let me remind you people of God, there is a win about to come. But listen, you need to get this. The win will become a game of heights. A game of heights. Let me say it again. It will be a, a quota. A game of heights. Nobody defeats something that you are on the same level with. Did you hear what I just said right now? Nobody can defeat something you are on the same level with. You are saying, God, move the mountain. And God is saying, grow up. People of God, there are battles. You don't fight your way out of it. You grow yourself out of it. So people of God, the woman stood at an advantage over Abimelech because she was higher. She stood at a place of advantage over Abimelech because her height was higher than Abimelech. There are women who are here and all the Lord is saying, it is not now. I started beckoning on you to come up to the place of height. Rakudabashada and Akaya, you cannot remain on the same level with cancer and you want cancer to go. You cannot remain on the same level with all the patterns and cycles and you want them to be broken. And that is why God is saying, I need you more than ever before. Make up your mind. I may forget everything that is said here today, but I hear the Lord make a call and he's saying to me, rise up to a higher ground you've choked with your Christian life a lot you've choked with your prayer 
life a lot. You've joked with that assignment that God gave you a lot. And the Lord is saying, I need to see you at the watchtower. I need to see you at the place of height. I need to see you at the place where you have left the weights behind. Where you have left everything that wants to drag you down. I need you, Kata, to shake off everything, making your spirit man cold. Because this is 2022. You came here to receive a recharge, to receive an ignition, to receive a fresh fire. And Macaulay, lay your hand on your head and call your name and say, Jerry, say, rise. Call your name and say, Jerry, say, rise. Jerry, rise. Jerry, rise. If you understand it, turn it louder, amen. And God is saying to that woman, Rakato, are you aware that nobody is going to rise for you on behalf of your family? Are you aware that God knew that you were going to be the mother of those children before he sent you there? Are you aware that he's not a wicked God? He was only looking for a way to manifest a testimony and he made you the mother of an autistic child and you're saying, God, why? Why are you trying this with me? And God is saying, I did not come to punish you, but the day you will rise, the day you will rise, the day you will rise, the Bible says, when you become restless, according to you, you will break the yoke of your neck. Lay your hand on your head again. Don't not Jerry rise, Jerry rise, Jerry rise. Let your hand turn the louder. People of God. And this was where the woman was. From a height. From that height. She was able to look down. And Abimelech. Even though you were stronger. You were on a low ground. Even though you had all the ammunition. You were on a low ground. There are women here. With the heavy graces on their lives. There are women here. With the heavy anointings on their lives. There are women here. With heavy potentials on their lives. And God is saying. My problem with you is that you are too loaded but you're on the ground my problem with you is that you are too graced but you are on the ground my problem with you is that you are too gifted but you are on the ground how dare you play with the chickens when you were supposed to soar with the eagles I came to tell women here because this is 2022. The day your secret place will receive fire again like it used to be. I don't care what happened to you. And it took away your height. It took away your growth. Call your name and say, Jerry, say you are right today uh, say you are rising right now say you are rising right now let your hammer turn the louder and people of God as this woman got to the height where she was she was able to look at Shabaladia where Abimelech was now look at the interesting thing people of God if this woman where on the same level with Abimelech, she will see Abimelech for who Abimelech truly is. I'm going somewhere. But when the woman was standing on a height, you know how it is. If you stay on a high riser and you are looking at some things, they become really small. The reason why some things are big in your eyes is that those things are still on the same level with you. The day you rise, you will wonder whether this is what is making other women cry. It is not because you are having amnesia. But it's because we are I am. This is nothing. Where I am. Women on heights. There is a way we see. Women on the watchtower. There is a way we see. 
and people are asking listen women the answer to a strong man is a strong tower Abimelech felt he was a strong man but the answer to a strong man is a strong tower whatever you consider strong run back into your strong tower Strong man cease to exist when a generation can embrace their strong tower. And this was where the woman went in. And there from the height, she was able to see the guy. And he said, why were we running? Who the hell does he think he is? Why were we scared? The woman carried a meal stone. People of God, every woman of destiny, understand now you're probably asking me pastor jerry please what is a millstone a millstone was what women used during the bible times to grind grain 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 to grind grain into powder so apparently i am supposing that this woman while they were being chased by abimelech grabbed her stone and was running with her stone. You may not understand this until they tell you how heavy a millstone is. People of God, a millstone was not an easy stone. And God says to me to let you know, no matter what happens to you, carry your stone. No matter what is going on, people of God, there are stones you are carrying now. There are consecration you are carrying now. There are stones of sacrifice you are carrying now. It may not make sense until Abimelech shows up. Leave me with my stone. He looks like you don't know what you're doing. Every day they say, you are taking this too much. You mean you have to get yourself involved in the planning organization of women on the winning edge again this year. Pasha, tell them, leave me with my stone. I will need it one day against Abimelech. Please help me look at that woman by your side. Say, carry your stone. Ashabala, ah, that was not the right woman. Help me leave that one. Get in the face of another one. Tell them, carry your stone. You got to scream it louder. Say, carry your stone. Shout it like a minute. Say, carry your stone. Scream it again. Say, carry your stone. Shout it again. Carry your stone. And people of God, it is easier to leave the stone and run pretty and run and have everything all well put together but there is a generation of women that have risen in 2022 <laughs> they will have their makeups at the right places but there is a part of them that is rugged there is a part of them they've got a Chanel bag on one side they've got their stone on the other side they've got all the makeup right but they have not forgotten their stone somebody say I carry my stone I carry my stone I carry my stone let your image turn the louder if you want your stone to be your consecration that's fine if you want your stone to be the stone that the, the build has rejected that has become the cornerstone anyone you like please attribute it but your stone might be your sacrifice your stone might be days when others will choose to sleep with pillow like jacob you will put your head on a stone it might be my sacrifice it might be my pain but you better watch out for me because i'm wired to win every step of the way I am going with my stone. I will never come around people who don't know God. And I will start acting like them. You challenge my God. You will see my stone. If you understand what I said. Can you thunder it louder? Amen. Let your amen 
tongue louder. Let your hear me tongue louder. Can I prophesy to 500 women? As your amen will thunder, your happy melek, your happy melek before 5 p.m. today. I don't know what your happy melek is before 5 p.m. at the close of this program. As mama is declaring the last word, your happy melek is going down. 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 Let your amen thunder seven times. Your neighbor may not understand your happy melek. You and your husband and your children know the Abimelech you've had to face again and again. But we speak to every Abimelech that has confronted, tried to shame, tried to disgrace your life. At the sound of your amen, I command, let the Abimelech go down by fire. Let them go down by fire. Let them go down by fire. Hear me as I hear the Lord. Between 6 to 8 p.m. Anticipate good news. Between 6 to 8 p.m. today. Anticipate good news. Receive it right now. Receive it right now. Receive it right now. He's falling. 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 Take it right now. 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 The siege is broken. The snare is broken. 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 Let your amen turn the louder. Let a believer thunder a louder, amen. Take your seat. I don't know the people that need this word, but I am led to declare. Whatever took your stone, whatever took your stone, Lekora Shada, Rabala Kasia, Ronde, your cutting edge was taken away. Rabba Lekosaya, that thing that makes your impact to be profound was taken away. Riko Labasha, you know that this woman might have had a desire. If there was no stone, there wouldn't have been any result. Gero Shaba, that thing that disconnects you from your desire to your result. As your amen will thunder, any stone you need in your career, any stone you need like the stone that brought down Goliath any stone you need for there to be a revolution as your amen will thunder it is resting in your hands right now take back your stone 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 let your amen thunder louder take your seat people of God are you aware like I said to you, that the stone, the millstone, was what women used to grind grain in the Bible times. They used it to grind grain in the Bible times. But then again, one woman, when she went to the top of the watchtower, she looked, she realized that there's something revelation does to a woman in transition. As she saw Abimelech from the floor, she saw that the battle has gotten closer than ever. Abimelech was planning to burn off the watchtower. This woman looks and knows that any woman in transition understands when your instrument for sustenance needs to become your instrument of warfare. This was a stone for grinding grain. But sir, the environment has changed. There is a wind that must happen right now. Kilado siya rabakata. Raba la kosha dea. Barato kasha. Kazan de kele boroso. Kosha ya. This was a stone for grinding grain. Barodia. But this woman realized there are seasons that are not for food. 
this woman understood I need to readjust that mouth that wants to eat to become the mouth I need to readjust that self that wants to hang out with friends to that self that wants to stay in the secret place Barakataya, my stone has to change functions I need to adjust myself from that person that wants to be accepted by all to that person that wants to fulfill the will of the Lord do you know that this woman would have said Chai, I don't have an arrow. I don't have a sword. I don't have anything. That is why. But the woman looked around and said, yeah, Bedoko, when seasons of danger come, we reassign our weapons. When seasons that are not palatable, oh, oh, you had no idea that some of the things that God gave you, he gave it to you for an Abimelech season. You think that the connection you have with mama, you had no idea it was for an Abimelech season. But you received it, but you looked at it, you kept looking at it and said, this is a stone. This is an ordinary stone. It doesn't even look like a sword. And God said, you have no idea. You have no idea. If you had the slightest idea of what you are carrying, you will know that Abimelech would bow to it. I came to let some people know no, this is a season to move functionalities. This is a season to switch. Baratika, the woman switched what was used to grind grain to become a weapon of warfare. Help me look at another woman by your side and call them by name and say, Sister. I say it again, say, Sister. Say, switch right now. I say it again, say, Sister. Say, my dearest sister. Say, it is time to switch. If you understand it, can you turn that louder? Amen. If you leave yourself the way you are, I'm not sure that this wind will manifest earlier than God intended it. You need to move from this cry, cry baby, that you are crying all the time. Lord, why me to become the woman that will be found at the gates? That you quote a shot earlier. You need to move from this person that you feel I am a victim. Everything is happening to me. To the person that will say, not on my watch. You need to switch from the person that feels sidelined, from the person that feels like, where, how can this thing happen to the person that will look and say, as far as Jehovah lives, according to the time of life, if you understand what I'm talking about let me hear you thunder fire I mean look at your neighbor and tell your neighbor switch that didn't sound right I need you to scream it like a warrior you are tell your neighbor say neighbor we have to switch say it again like you mean say neighbor say it again say we have to switch shout it again say neighbor say we have to switch people of God there are seasons when women of destiny come into, they understand they can no longer, you say, Pastor, you know, I keep dropping the proposal all the time. I don't know why I've been calling people. Stop calling them. Switch. Pastor, I've provided all the therapy I need for this child to become a better person. You've done all that and it didn't work. It is time to do what? Eh? Switch. This woman without a pedigree, she knew, she knew, she knew when to stop using a millstone to grind grain, to using a millstone to scatter the head of Abimelech. A woman in transition. One of the things she's aware of, she's always aware of her season to switch. I came to let you know there are victories already available. But the problem is that you are going in the opposite direction of your victory. 
And the Lord is saying, you got a switch so that you and your victory can meet face to face. Go and remind Abimelech that the woman that come, came in here is not the woman that is living. The woman that came in here came with an, a, a, a pity party attitude. A woman that came in here, the devil has been using her tears to drink champagne. But there is a woman that is living here who has experienced a switch in her life. Am I talking to someone? Somebody look at your neighbor and tell your neighbor, say switch. Do not forget that it was right on the watchtower. Labor Russia that Abimelech was on the ground and this woman was on the watchtower. When there is nothing to use, I will use what is available. So she carries the millstone right from there. Shiva Hosada. Do you know this win was beyond this woman? It wasn't about her. It was about generations connected to her. It was about the fact that this man, wicked man, killed 70 of your siblings. Now, it didn't do you. Everyone who dares talk to you, you want to bring them down. And this woman, Ikiasa, she stood and said, Lord, I don't know, but I perceive she understood the weight that was on her. She understood that as I'm throwing down this stone, Lord, Shabali Kadosia, Ebese, my question really is, knowing how fearful and fierce Abimelech seemed what if you miss the stone women who win do not ask the what if question do you understand what I'm saying because they understand with God on their side every result is a win you need to get this right you need to get it right every result is a win I'm not sure you heard that right. Not every positive result is a win. Once I have God on my side and I take actions in accordance with his will, every result I get is what? A win. There are some wins that are not for celebration. They are for building capacity. You need to get that. There are some wins that are not for celebration. Oh, no, people will call it failure. But you, you look at it and say, I won. People will look at it and say, it, it doesn't look good. It doesn't look in it. I, my win was not for you. It was for me. Because there are things I learned. If it worked, I would not have learned it. Am I communicating? As I get ready to tidy up, look at that woman by your side. Say, we have to throw this stone. Tell your sister, say, sister, throw this stone. Say it again like you mean it. Say, sister, throw the stone. And this was where the woman was. In that moment that redefined destinies. In that moment that caused a nation to shift. In that one moment, please permit me to go back a little bit in order to arrive where I am. And say again that we don't know the name of this woman. No. This is how I know. There are people sitting down here. Mark my word. I do not speak in thousand words of men's wisdom. People of God, a man of prayer who prays all the time. Shibola, God said to me while I was praying for this meeting last night. He said there are women without titles. Women without names. But God said to me to let you know. Like the ass that he rode on. Shabali Kasotea, as your amen will thunder, Shabale Korosea, hear me as I hear the Lord. The Lord will use your life to manifest His glory. The Lord will use your life to manifest His glory. The Lord will use your life to manifest His glory. Receive it right now. 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 Let your amen turn the louder. People of God, and this was exactly what happened. This woman, unknown woman, without a pedigree, she had to release the stone in her hand and right there it went all the way down and down and down and down until it landed at the skull of Abimelech people of God do you know that this win of this certain woman 
had the target in mind, the head of Abimelech. Somebody help me look at your neighbor, tell your neighbor, say the head of Abimelech. Oh, you got to say like you mean to say the head of Abimelech. Somebody shout it again and say the head of Abimelech. Let me say this and I'm going to tidy up. People of God, as much as you believe that this win is going to be exceedingly extrinsic. But please let me remind you that the head of Abimelech was where his eyes were. Was where his mouth was. One of the things that will begin to lay a platform for victory is when you learn to shut off some things from talking to you. People of God, I believe that this millstone landing on the skull of Abimelech was this woman's way of trying to say, whatever that has been speaking me out of destiny, whatever that does not sound like the voice of God, whatever that does not sound like where I am in destiny, let a stone land on its head. Am I communicating? people of God I don't know whether they call them monitoring or invigilating demons or inspection demons but those ones that try to see to your everyday life what is she doing where is she at as your amen will thunder eyes to see we deny them of it right now we deny them of it right now. 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 Can I beg you to rise on your feet? Lift up your right hand wherever you are. And Tonda Abimelech. Oh Rabba Lakota. Tonda Abimelech. Abimelech. Say right now. Whatsoever that looks like a giant that has terrorized my life, taking my joy away, taking my peace away, say right now, what are you doing around my life? What are you doing around my business? What are you doing around my career? Say right now, go down, go down, go down, go down, go down. Go down. Go down, go down, open your mouth, a quotata, a mecoradaja, la patacata, rato kesha, la cota, a mecosate, la corred, a shamanaya, a corotoso, la toker, a meshota, rapapa, racotele, a meshadaya, a quotata, la maneke, a satai, a shamanaka, rapatacata, la Berekata, a shatoke, la balada, a coradia, a message, let your aim at on the louder. As your two hands are lifted, wherever you are, I decree every Abimelech standing and opposing the will, the desire, the program of God over your life. Abimelech of Casa childlessness, Abimelech of cancer, Abimelech of autism, Abimelech of slow development, Abimelech of joblessness, whatsoever that comes in the similitude of Abimelech at the sound of your amen. If God is here, like we are aware that God is here, Abalakataya in a Another 18 days, Abashaka, Aman Abasai, you will hear the sound of victory. 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 Let your amen rise. Let your amen turn the louder. Let your amen rise. Let your amen turn the louder. Let your amen turn the louder. Hear me as I hear the Lord. I'm a quarter for Abimelech. You sought a throne that was not his own. 
Abimelech you sought the throne that was not his own at the sound of your amen whatever that you sought the throne Akosha in your life hear me as I hear the Lord in 24 hours there will be a massive restoration massive restoration massive restoration massive restoration massive restoration let your amen turn the louder let your amen turn the louder let your amen rise and I pray for you as your amen will turn the rise up to the watchtower rise up to the place of your strength to the place of your capacity to the place of your prayers to the place of your fire to the place of your holy ignition to the place where you are fire for the Lord rise up to it 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 for the same power that raised Jesus from the dead is able to quicken your mortal bodies let every area of your life let it be quickened right now let it be quickened right now let it be quickened right now let every gift of the spirit in the inside of you let it be quickened right now let it be quickened right now let every gift of revelation let it be quickened right now the gift of the prophetic let it be quickened right now let it be quickened right now I announce it is a new season it is your moment of a divine turnaround you are winning on every side you are winning on every side you are winning on every side congratulations celebrations have entered your life woman on the watchtower shine woman on the watchtower shine woman on the watchtower shine a woman on the watchtower shine and I announce you have entered your new season you have entered your new season you have entered your new season let your amen rise seven times And as you shout the amen, can you celebrate like someone who has entered into their new season? Celebrate, rejoice, thank Hallelujah. God, honor Jesus. You can dance, you can give a high five to your neighbor. Well, COVID compliant, just a high five Bluetooth. But just really celebrate and say thank you, Jesus, for I have switched into my new season. Hallelujah. You see, Mama is an enigma. I, for, for want of a better way to put it, I've never seen a woman that is as strong as her. And of course, I, I don't know how to flatter people. I'd rather keep quiet. I think she's an amazingly strong woman. I think she's very... I, I mean, she's... She, I, I, I literally drew inspiration from her, you know, because there are, there, there are things that happened to her and I just said to myself, if this happened to her, I would die. I'll just forget about whatever I'm doing. But then again, she pushed on, she tried on the light became brighter you know she was able to navigate through all the oh my goodness oh my goodness she is already a legacy if she doesn't do any one more thing it's already enough at a point in Nigeria there was no matrix of the faith she rose up and was the matrix of the faith so for now we'll look back in retrospect and say whoa that's the matrix of faith so that's it for me. thank you very much is it